welcome, welcome. You know, I love to shop, you know that. And I think the reason I love to shop is there's just in the nooks and crannies of the stores and these places where a lot of people don't look, there's just so many great ideas. And I'm hopeful that you think this is one of them. I think it's a home run. So we're going to call up the Baker Wrap because it was with Ted Baker. It's by Ted Baker. It's $150 for this little wrap. It's in Nordstrom's. But we're going to show you a couple pictures here. You can see first the wrap itself. Then you can see the back. And in the back, it hangs down a little low. I just wanted you to see a couple versions of this. And finally, of course, it can be a scarf, depending on the fabric that you make it out of. So all kinds of variations for this. This is a sewer's dream because any fabric can be used. I've done a knit and I've done a woven just so that we could get the variety of what can be used. A yard, a scrap of fabric just works great. And it, you know, not long from inception to completion. And so hopefully you can really incorporate this and it's easy and simple. So I'm going to show you with a couple different ones just because I was concerned that you wouldn't be able to visually see. You're going to take a yard, you actually want it to be 40 inches, and I'm going to tell you what the actual wrap measured because I stood in the store and measured it, but you know that you can vary it. If you don't want the opening to be this wide, this is actually the yard, and so it's, it's closed up this way, whereas this is the width of the fabric. And so, you know, if you don't want these openings to be quite as droopy, you can make it different. So you're going to take a yard basically 40 inches. This is 40 inches done twice, so this measurement is actually 20. But again, a yard of fabric and then the width. And the width on the fabrics I used was 56. The wrap itself measured 56, so actually that's from here to there is the 56. Again, if you're using a fabric and you only want to use the yard and it's a little bit narrower, you know, oh well. All these variations are just fun things for you to do. So you're going to take it and then the width, you're going to fold it this way. And this is going to be my loop this way. And you're going to stitch in 12 inches. And then this way, you're going to stitch in 12 inches. So you've got this long tube because that's the width of the fabric. And you're going to stitch 12 inches from both. And then I'm just going to put a couple pins in here so you can see what's going to happen. It's actually going to become the neckline of the garment. And it's going to become the back that covers your rear end. So a lot of times we do want something to be longer. All right, so those are the armholes. That's the seam right here. You only make two seams, and that's that seam right here. And then this actually becomes what you put around your neck. And that little cup-like part is the back of you. Kind of cups like that and those becomes your sleeves. Okay, so easy enough to do. I think you all have that. Again, I'll just go over the numbers one more time. You're gonna take it 40 inches, about a yard, the width of the fabric, which is going to be in this case um, 60, 58, something like that. And the width, you're gonna fold it in half. You're gonna match the yard to one another, and you're gonna sew in 20 inches. So in this case, and I'll show you in a minute, this is a knit. Its edges were curled, they were finished, they were so cute, I didn't do anything to them. Sewed in 12 inches, skip the space in between, and come in 12 inches from that end. That's it, that's your $150 wrap. So again, I wanna show you a couple of things that I did. Now, keep in mind, this is fabric 2280. I used it because it was um, a great kind of serrated, you know, whatever, variegated knit. And I love that it would go with an awful lot. So on this, the edges here are the selvage because remember, this is going selvage to selvage. And I know it's black, you can't see it. But the point being is the edges naturally curled under so there was no finish to be done. All I did was serge together 12 inches here, left the opening, 12 inches here, and you can see what a great wrap this becomes. I mean, this is just fun and easy. I put this longer sleeve shirt on because here's where the arms come out and that's the part that hangs down. The seam comes in right through there. Just a great little wrap. So for the one I did for me, the goal here was to take the blouse that I'd already made. And this was the blouse that we made on the webcast last week. It's pattern 600. And I just wanted a little more to it. So here's the natural blouse. I just put it on. It's, it is sheer. You can kind of see that it's sheer. 
I just put it on with a pair of denim capri, or these are um, leggings. I just made a pair of stretch leggings, denim stretch leggings. So you can see that you can take these really beautiful fabrics and really tone them down. And so again, that's the width of the fabric. I just did one yard, folded it in half. You know, I put a tag on mine because I'm, you know, whenever you got to put a wrap on, it seems like, you know, does it go this way? Does it go this way? You never know which way it goes. So the blast again is pattern 600. We did that in the webcast. And then I decided that it was just almost fun to have a little matching wrap over it because it almost um, completed that soft, simple look. I just really, really liked it. And I put that tag in so I could tell where to do it. Then, and not in this case, because I've got the ruffle down the front of the blouse, but I did want to show you that if you're using a fabric that's light, it just simply makes, it can go for the scarf. And so you can just really have a little shawl and a wrap and a little scarf all in one. I hope you enjoy. Um, again, fabric 2280 is the black and 2353 is the silk. Pretty simple. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.